Hi, my name is Dr. Khashoggi Rafatzan, and uh, I'm also known as Dr. Kashi. I'm an associate professor of radiology, practicing for the past 11 years in the Quebec healthcare public system. And today we are going to have the first of hopefully what's going to be a, a many future conversations. And we're going to um, analyze the uh, healthcare platform proposed by five of the parties uh, running for the next election. In uh, this uh, conversation, I have asked uh, my friend, uh, Mr. Karim Boulos, the well-known political analyst from CJAD, lecturer at John Paulson School of Business, and uh, also a great swim coach to uh, join me and help me through this conversation. Karim, welcome to the first session of Uniting Inquiry podcast. Thank you, Kashi. It's always fun to chat with you about all the great wisdom you have on this topic. <laughs> You're very kind. So um, in spirit of the times, a few days before the election, we are going to uh, take um, a look and evaluate at five political part party uh, healthcare platforms. And we're using it because I don't wanna talk about things that matter to me, but we're using this as a roadmap of what the stakeholders and the lawmakers think are the most important issues in Quebec. So um, we will start with one of the parties at this, you know, uh, I think it's gonna be Quebec Solidaire and Karim is gonna be uh, leading me through the platform. <laughs> well, thank you, Hashi. I think that in light of the upcoming election, many people out there have questions and concerns. Many things concern them, whether the economy, the environment, we watch the debates and we heard about the education system and its shortcomings. And of course, in, in the, the tail end of the pandemic, we, we lived through a very difficult time that, that taxed our healthcare system. And the first question that comes to mind, and I'm sure all the political leaders were asked the question is, how do you solve a problem as complicated or as complex as the Quebec healthcare system? Right. I mean, you know, they say clarity is kindness. And I think the question is unclear. For us to solve something, we need to ask very specific questions. Problem healthcare, very vague. What do you want to address? Asking how do we fix the nursing shortage? That is a more specific question. Asking how do we improve childcare? How do we improve health for uh, the seniors? Mm -hmm. Dental care, mental care. So I think it's uh, the conversation starts with asking properly composed questions. So every party has its version or its variety of how they think the healthcare system should be fixed. And it always starts with some kind of a dollar amount. And you know, we just throw more money on the pile and the problem seems to go away. It, you know, we know that between education and health, we're spending over 85% of the provincial budget. So is, is our tax money going to healthcare or spending more of our tax money on healthcare the solution? Well, I think it's not a bad thing that we live in a society that gives such a high priority to education and healthcare. You know, it's a lot of this doesn't happen in a lot of places. So that's great. Now, um, the question is, is there enough money to keep going on as the demands of these sectors increase? So here I want to use uh, a jar and marble an an analogy. Mm -hmm. So a, a jar is the amount of resources we have. And the jar already has a bunch of marbles in there. You know, like uh, the jar of healthcare is filled to the brim because we don't have enough money for healthcare. And in there is free cancer care, for example. Now, it becomes a little bit more complex because these marbles don't stay the same size. These marbles are also growing. Cancer care 20 years ago was not this expensive. The machines are expensive. Chemotherapy agents are new, more effective, but more expensive the new medications, the specialists are more expensive to train. So these marbles are, are swelling and the jars remain the same. So now if someone out of the best intention, I'm sure, says, all right, we're gonna put dental in here, you gotta take something out. Okay. That, is, that is unavoidable. And that's so, the clarity that's required, I apologize. That's the clarity that's required to complete these propositions. You wanna put dental in? what are you taking out? And is the population is okay with you taking that marble out? 
So we're talking often about the flavor of the month. And so, you know, we look at what's most important on people's minds during the pandemic, the CHSLDs were a disaster and they were, they were a tragedy. In fact, what, what are the priorities? And as opposed to, I'm not going to let you answer that question. I'll ask you to just jump right into Quebec Solidaire okay. as an example. Let's, let's use, let's use the, the first of the five parties we're going to analyze to, to explain to us if you're going to prioritize, you know, who is, who's your base, who are you speaking to? And I think the platform will often reflect that. So we'll jump right in. Um, Quebec Solidaire suggests the creation of yet another bureaucratic structure, which every party wants to do. And I think that there's merit and downsides to it, but they want to create an independent health director to maintain distance from political decisions, to make healthcare a less politicized aspect of everyday life. What do you think about that? I think it's a fantastic idea. I think uh, probably this is one of the most philosophically uh, kind of fundamental propositions out there. Um, and let's not talk about the ideological components, you know, like separation of health. The, the, I think the best argument there might be, and I'm going to say might be because I'm not sure, that the clock speed of change in healthcare is different than the clock speed of political cycles. If we adopt an innovation today that's cost us a million dollars, we may not see the savings before the end of the election time. You know, and this happens with every kind of infrastructure spending. So the four years is a very, very small amount of time to make important leaps in healthcare. We need to give this more time. And I think it's a little bit on us as a population that we say, all right, the government has to fix anything. If they, can, they make a mistake, they're out. Mm -hmm. so that's the second fallacy. So separating these two, I think, has at least a technical merit. Okay, so there are merits to it. So regardless of who wins the election, it is a concept worth pursuing. So that's good. That's from this perspective, there is merit to the idea. So what about the CHSLD? We alluded to it earlier. It was a tragedy. It was a human tragedy. The problem doesn't seem to be fixed. We are all going to age. We're all going to need those services. The Quebec Solidaire is proposing a nationalized model of CHSLDs, removing the, the private altogether from it. How's that? Well, I mean, it's the same thing. A nationalized means free. Free mm -hmm. means I'm not paying at the point of care, right. but someone is going to pay. I mean, one fallacy here between public and private is if I go to the emergency and give my card and don't pay, I think I'm not paying. If I can cut you off for a second, I understand the notion of free versus paid, but the idea of a nationalized system whereby everyone has a standard level of care and then we don't have private, and we heard about the Heron right. uh, CHSLD, I think it was more of a, a jab at that. As a concept, and, and I'm not asking you to judge Quebec Solidaire as a party, right. you know, does the concept make sense to standardize well, it across the board? You said the very important word, standard of care. Mm -hmm. If that's the definition we're going after, yes. And that is really, as a, as, a, as a specialist, that is a component that I oftentimes would like to see that's more clear in different platforms. Mm -hmm. uh, free is one thing. Getting quality care at the right price is a different story. So yes, you want to kind of nationalize it. Somebody has to fund it. Again, mm -hmm. please show us which marble you're taking out mm -hmm. to put the, to, to put the uh, CHSLD marble in. It is a great proposition because um, in order to know what we have to prioritize, we just can fall back on what we already agree on. You know, um, um, I think it's Maslow who has a hierarchy of needs, right? It's a pyramid at the base. So what do we prioritize as a community? and we unanimously agree on, what do you think? Who is the most important person in our society? Any, any? We often depends who you talk to, you know, where you stand on a topic often depends on where you sit, right? And uh, so I think if you're a, a new parent, I think children are the priority, you know? If you're an aging senior who spent all their life paying taxes, I think seniors are a priority. I, I agree, my argument is, we can find a shared opinion and mm -hmm. not something that we can agree right now, but something is already agreed on. Mm -hmm. And I give the, the school bus analogy. What is the highest driving offense? If you pass five kilometers per hour, 
posing no danger to anyone from a school bus with the red lights on, you get 14 points. That is a symbol of the amount of importance we assign to children. Right. I find it very difficult to argue that there's anything more important than children health. So that's yes. all the way at the base. So with a child, as I'm sorry, I cut you off. With a child comes the mother, which is a fetus and the mom. Okay. So you can't separate the child from health of women in reproductive age. Okay. That has to be that I, I, I propose, you know, and sometimes here we have to take positions, you know, mm -hmm. there are really conversation challenges to these positions. That's at the base. The second question, seniors, as a community, we have senior discounts, we have senior facilities, we have pensions. So historically and culturally, we have agreed that the seniors have that priority. Mm -hmm. So kind of there's no question that, um, or I shouldn't say there's no question. It's a very good proposition, which probably a lot of people agree on, even without the recent tragedies, uh, but that kind of color our judgment by emotions, that the seniors has to go, they have to go back all, all the way in the, mm -hmm. in the jar. So, so who's going to come out? That's right. That's so it. that's that's my question. If I can just jump to, let's say, one of their other comments is the, the universal dental coverage and mental health coverage that Quebec Solidaire proposed as well. So there's another marble. You know, there, there are many marbles to be added to the jar. What do you think about universal dental and mental health? Well, coverage? I think mental health is great, but it's hard to argue that someone who has tooth pain has less pain than they have sinusitis. And that's an arbitrary agreement. Um, whether we put it in or not, that is not the question. The question is the price. Uh, you know, uh, as an analogy from the movie, show me the money, show me the marble. Where's, okay. where's the marble? And okay. so, some things has to come out. Okay, I agree. So overall, Quebec Solidaire's platform is raises key issues, but leaves a few questions still unanswered in your opinion. And I think the question of money has come up time and time again. So to all voters, to all people listening and evaluating, I think the ideas proposed by uh, Gabriel Nadeau-Dubois uh, have, have their merit and have their position and have their place in a political debate. Uh, the question of how to pay for it and what society deems to be the priority is now the real question to be asked. Would that be a fair summary of their, of their platform? Always, you said it better than I could. Actually, thank you. I, we, uh, I think we're all better off for, for your commentary and your perspective. Oftentimes we see our things from the point of view of how it affects us directly, but not the broader impact on society and how we manage the marbles. And I like that analogy. I think I'm gonna use that next time I talk to somebody about a different perspective on a matter <laughs> related to resources. Sure, without losing our marbles, of course, you know, without enough. losing our minds and anger. Thank you, Kashi. We'll talk again soon. Thank you.